Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build triads. So let's say that, we'll start with the, e the easiest one in some ways is, is a C chord. So we, if we build a C chord, we start off with C. We go up three each time, so I'll write the musical alphabet up here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and so forth, it repeats. So I'll take a C, and I go up three, one, two, three, E is the next note, one, two, three, G is the next note. So that's how you can build triads. Now, you know, whether it's major or minor, there's certain things you have to understand about third relationships and fifths and things like that as well. Um, but for the most part, if you are in the key of whatever you're in, so if you're in the key of C or G or D, and you just use the key signature, so let's say that we know that D has two sharps in it, uh, F sharp and C sharp. So if I, I start building a, a D chord, okay, so one, two, three, it's not gonna be F, right? It's, it's gonna be F sharp. And then one, two, three, A. So that fits in the key. So if you know your key signatures, you can build triads and whatnot. And of course, I can put this on, on the staff and you know, spell it out where you can actually see it. D, I'll just put that there, F sharp. And so you can, you can put that on the staff as well. So as always, Rock and Roll, of course it does compute. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because I would totally compute. Compute it, yeah. So you would just do it. It's like that.